The focus of this video is editing in the scope screen. So we're here at the SpeechCat main menu. You could be using Digitran or Transcriptionist. In Transcriptionist, it's called Edit instead of Scope. Either way, all we have to do is highlight the job and go to Scope. Because we're going to be editing and not correcting, we do not need to load the speech engine. So just click on OK and your job will open in the scope screen. As you can see, I've got black text. That's original text that was dictated. I've got green text. That's text that was corrected, but I found a mistake in the utterance summary, so I did not push those corrections through. And blue are the corrections that were actually correct and able to be pushed through to the speech engine. So in correction we use our own voice to correct because it's all about what Dragon writes for what we say. Whereas in editing we can use the live track because it's all about making it actually correct for creating a transcript. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to point out to you um, these what we call unformatted markers. When you see asterisk Q asterisk or asterisk A asterisk or asterisk speaker one asterisk or asterisk speaker anything asterisk, it means that that marker was not recognized in Dragon. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on reformat fix corrected markers and as you can see what that does is it actually puts the marker in correct format as well as the text behind it looks like here I might have messed up on my own but as you can see everywhere that there was an asterisk Q asterisk or an asterisk A asterisk those have now been properly formatted and they are now in their correct state. So now we're ready to actually listen to the audio of the job, the room audio of the job, and this is room mic one. And we can do that by just starting right at the beginning and right clicking. First you do a left click to place your cursor and then a right click. Michael Lee Johnson, ma'am. And how old are you, Mr. Johnson? I'm 32. What is your date of birth? Now, when we see a mistake, we can simply correct it. We can type it in. We can also use a foot pedal to actually control the audio, which um, I think actually makes it go a little faster. I'm not using a foot pedal right now. I'm just using my mouse. What is your date of birth? It's May 23rd, 1967. Do you have a nickname that you go by? No, I don't. Well, my friends call me Mike. Mike. Do you mind if I call you Mike? No, I don't mind. That's fine with me. Mike, are you a native of this area? Well, I was born in North Dakota. Now what you can see is here it's not properly formatted. So I'm going to try to properly format it by removing the A and doing Alt R A. And there you go. Did create an extra line so I'm just going to fix that. Now you can see here that um, this was just a mistake that I made in editing so what I want to do is add a period here. If I do control period, it puts in two spaces and capitalizes the next sentence. This is actually not something that we want, so I'm just going to delete it. And there should have been um, core Q. And I think this is incorrect as well, so I'm going to start up here at this A. Old college fraternity buddies had come in for the weekend. We were going to go rabbit hunting that weekend. Rabbit hunting? Yes, rabbit hunting. We were going out okay, there to so check out the area. Here is, there was an 
a question that said rabbit hunting and then an answer alt r a yes comma rabbit hunting I'm going to put control period here to put a period in cap next and again I'm going to start ahead of where I actually want to begin correcting rabbit hunting that weekend rabbit hunting yes rabbit hunting we were going out there to check out the area now okay so this actually is not correct to check out the area. Well, I was going to a place called Billy Goat Ridge. That's where we were going to go rabbit hunting. To get there, you had to go down a gravel road and then cross another bridge, an old metal bridge. Now, how long had it been since you had been to Billy Goat Ridge? Well, it had been a few years. And do you remember how fast you were traveling? I want to say between 25 and 35. Were there any street lights on that road? Oh no, across another bridge, an old metal bridge. Now how long had it been since you had... I'm going to go back. ...to check out the area. Now I want to make sure I have the right bridge. Do you know the road where this accident happened? Well, I was going to a place called Billy Goat Ridge. That's where we were going to go rabbit hunting. To get there, you had to go down a gravel road and then cross another bridge, an old metal bridge. Now, how long had it been since you had been to Billy Goat Ridge? Well, it had been a few years. And do you remember how fast you were traveling? I want to say between 25 and 35. Were there any street lights on that road? Oh, no. This was way out in the country. The incident happened about 9.30 at night. It was pretty dark out there and cloudy. I don't think you could see the moon. I forgot to ask you this question, Mike. What type of vehicle were you driving? So I can do control period here. The incident happened about 9.30 at night. It was control period here. It was pretty dark out there and cloudy. Control period. I forgot to ask you this question, Mike. What type of vehicle were you driving on that road? Oh, no. This was way out in the country. The incident happened about 9.30 at night. It was pretty dark out there and cloudy. I don't think you could see the moon. I forgot to ask you this question, Mike. What type of vehicle were you driving? I was driving a Dodge Ram truck at the time. And you said your college fraternity buddies were with you. Can you tell me their names? Yes. Now you can also put in your questions and your periods very simply by typing them in. So that's just regular editing. This must not be correct. Well, I was born in North Dakota, but my family moved here when I was in elementary school and we've been here ever since. So is it fair to say that you've been here in Alabama for a considerable amount of time and are fairly familiar with the area? Yes, fairly familiar. Mike, let's just cut to the chase. The reason we're here today is to talk about an accident you had back in 1995 where you drove your car off a bridge and into a creek. Do you remember that accident? Yes, I remember the accident, but I don't remember the exact date. That's okay. Now, do you remember what day of the week this accident took place? It was a Friday night. Some of my old college fraternity buddies had come in for the weekend. We were going to go rabbit hunting that weekend. Rabbit hunting? Yes, rabbit hunting. We were going out there to check out the area. Now, I want to make sure I have the right bridge. Do you know the road where this accident happened? Well, I was going to a place called Billy Goat Ridge. That's where we were going to go rabbit hunting. To get there, you had to go down a gravel road and then cross another bridge, an old metal bridge. Now, how long had it been since you had been to Billy Goat Ridge? Well, it had been a few years. And do you remember how fast you were traveling? I want to say between 25 and 35. 
Were there any street lights on that road? Oh, no. This was way out in the country. The incident happened about 9.30 at night. It was pretty dark out there and cloudy. I don't think you could see the moon. I forgot to ask you this question, Mike. What type of vehicle were you driving? I was driving a Dodge Ram truck at the time. And you said your college fraternity buddies were with you. Can you tell me their names? Yeah. So this is wrong. It's not brothers. It's buddies. So when I want to start, I just place my cursor a little bit before where I want to start and write. Well, we were just riding along. We were just talking, catching up on things. You know, nothing special. Was the radio on? Yes, the radio was on, I think. Just talking, catching up on things. You know, nothing special. You know, nothing special. Was the radio on? Just talking, catching up on things. You know, nothing special. Was the radio on? Yes. Control I will initial cap. Now, some of the other things that you can do that I just haven't had an opportunity uh, to do yet, so I'll just show you. Control U, upper cases. If you do it again, it lower cases. Control I, initial caps. Again, lower case. Control dash will stitch. Control dash again will unstitch. If you want to stitch and upper case, you can control U first, then control dash. All of these things are toggles. Um, if you want to comma enclose something, let's say we wanted to comma enclose this, we would highlight what we wanted to be enclosed, hold down the control key and hit comma. And as you can see, it puts a comma before in the appropriate spot and a comma after. This too is a toggle. You can find all of the hotkeys listed here. Let me move it over just a little bit. Here we go. So you can see them all. You can also check the AudioScribe forum for a list of hotkeys that you can print out and use as a quick reference guide. All of the audio hotkeys are over here. F5 to play, Alt F8 to rewind, F6 to pause and resume, Alt F9 to fast forward, F7 to switch channel, F8 to go to the previous marker, F9 to go to the next marker, Control F8 to decrease the playback speed, or slow it down. Control F9 to increase the playback speed or speed it up. Shift F8 increases the volume. Shift F9 decreases the volume. And Shift F11 minimizes the volume. These are your foot pedal controls here. Let's get back to the scoping. Catching up on things, you know, nothing special. Was the radio on? Yes, the radio was on, I think. The radio was on, okay. And then I remember we were going down the road. I remember seeing the shadows of the trees. And then all I remember is seeing a black void. And that was it. Had you and the guys been drinking that day? We had bought a six-pack. I had one, and the guys had split the rest of the six-pack. Where did you get the beer? We stopped at a convenience store. What size were the beers? Just 12-ounce bottles. I understand. Do you remember how much of the beer you would have had at the time of the accident? No. 
I don't remember. But you had your beer in your hand as you were driving down this road. It would have been between my legs. Now, you mentioned that you were driving along and then suddenly remember a black void. Do you remember any... Now, you mentioned that you were driving along and then suddenly remember a black void. Do you remember anything else about the accident? I remember... No, I don't remember. But you had your beer in your hand as you were driving down this road. It would have been between my legs. Now, you mentioned that you were driving along and then suddenly remember a road. It would have been between my legs. Now, you mentioned that you were driving along and then suddenly remember a black void. Do you remember anything else about the accident? I remember falling. Do you remember them yelling to you to watch out or anything prior to you running off the bridge? No, I did stitches. Tough guy, right? Yes, something like that. That's a pretty big scar. Control I. F6 is both pause and resume. Okay, so this is wrong. This was a question, not an answer. Control I to initial cap. Paid it. Did you have to go to court? No, just paid the ticket. I paid it. Alt R Q. Did you have to go to court? Alt R A. I think it's no. I just paid it. Let's go back a little bit. Failure to maintain control? I suppose. What happened to that ticket? I paid it. Did you have to go to court? No, just paid the ticket. Now, Mark, is there any... Just paid the ticket. Anything you'd like to tell me about the accident? Anything at all? Well, that was a bad start to a weekend of rabbit hunting. Stop. That was a bad start to a weekend of rabbit hunting.